All right, studio friends. Now that I have let my bowl dry a little bit, I can take it out. If you're someone who pressed in, if you're at home or if you're here and you pressed in, you can take it out if it's cold. Mine's very cold to the touch. It's not bendy anymore when I press on it. It doesn't move much, um, but it, it is still wet, um, still damp to the touch, but it's pretty cold and I'm not able to move it much. Like the plasticity is gone. So now what I'm going to do is start um, sketching in my and carving in my design. You can do it a couple different ways. You can take the form out and just move your bowl away completely, or you can leave it on for support. I'm gonna take mine out. Um, if you're at home, you can rip your, your bowl off of it or cut your bowl away from it. I'm going to do my invented texture in the inside, my simulated texture around the outside, and then my rubbed texture here on the bottom. So what you're gonna see right here is me starting with my wooden tool and uh, my bowl and I'm just going to hold it up a little bit so you can see it really close but I'm going I know you know I've looked at the sketch it's on the side here and I am going to start tracing in kind of drawing lightly where I want my lines to be now if you remember my invented sketch I'll go get it My invented texture has a couple different things here. I'm going to carve these lines in. I'm going to add these on top. I'm going to draw it first so I know where I want it to go. And then I will roll a piece of clay and attach it. So I'm going to just draw my line right here, show you where I want that piece of clay to attach to. Okay, so that's one of the big lines. And then the small lines are going to look like this. carved in between. I'm just doing this little excerpt for you so you can see. See all those little boogers? Focus. There you go. See all those little chunks of clay? Take a paintbrush. Um, if you have one at home, that's great. If you don't, you can take your finger gently and brush those off. And then there, sometimes they get stuck inside my lines again. That's really poor craftsmanship. So what I do is take my, my um, wooden tarving, carving tool again and just go right back into it. Oops, sorry, I bounced you. So you just go right back in, get those boogers out. It's a back and forth process. Brush them out. If any of them get back in, one more time. Look at how nice that line looks now. Just this one that I just did right there. The rest of them still look bad because I gotta go back in and get them all out. Okay. Now to attach, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go back and forth and do that a lot, so you don't need to watch that. Now I've already smoothed it out with my finger, like I showed you in the last video. Just one more thing is like if you're gonna attach a piece of your texture, like I'm going to like this stripe that I drew is going to be an attached piece. That's when I take some of the extra clay. All that extra clay that I didn't use is in my bag. Off to the side needs to stay wrapped so it stays moist. Put a little bit of water on it. If you have a spray bottle at home, you can use that. If you have a spray bottle in class, you can use that too. Otherwise, you just take it over the sink, get your hands a little bit wet and like flick the water on there. You don't want to drench it, but I'm just going to roll a little coil. Proper way to roll a coil is to squeeze in your hands like this, put it on the table and roll back and forth. As long as you keep rolling until it's not as thick as your thumb. So let's check it. We're good because it's smaller than my thumb. So I can have a big texture. I don't want it that big. I just kind of want a skinny little coil. Now, I want to attach this coil to this spot in my bowl. Oh my gosh, it could be like little sections for food or something. So I want that right there. So what I'm gonna do is cut it with my wooden tool to the shape and size that I want it, on the ends I mean. So I'm just gonna lay that in to get the general size. Make a little mark where I wanna cut it off. Goodbye. Now, I can't just place it there, it's not gonna stick. Take that coil off. This is called scoring. You're going to score. A bunch of X's is pretty much what it is. You're gonna mark up and, and X up or score your area where you want your attached piece. You do not need to brush these boogers off because they actually help you connect the next piece. 
just the ones that go crazy off the side there. So now I've scored, you can do this with a fork if you want. I've scored it. Um, some of you at home will not have a paper, so you can literally just dip your hand in some water and gently place the water over your score marks. If you're here in school, you might have a paintbrush, dip it in. This is slip, technically it's just water right now, but we're using it as slip, which is just liquidy clay. Okay, then you have to score your actual coil as well. So I kind of need to get the shape down of where it goes. Right there. Now it's left a mark so I can see. And I go ahead and score that side. X's all the way down. If I just do one the lines one way, it will not stick. I'll show you an example of that in a second. Slip it again. Press down to where you want it. Okay, I'm pressing down just a little bit to get that to stick. Cutting off any excess I have, making it flush to the rim so it's nice. I don't need to blend the sides, I kind of want the lines there, so I'm just gonna smooth it out with my fingers, making sure that's all sticking, smoothing that out. Again, if you're at school, you can use a paintbrush to get in there and make that nice and smooth. Never wanna to put too much water back under your clay. If you put too much water back into this, it'll just crack because it'll fall to the bottom of your bowl and crack the bottom of it. So a little combination of your hands to dry it out and your paintbrush to smooth it is perfect. Okay, and then that's the start to my texture and I'm gonna keep doing that until the inside of my bowl looks like my invented texture. Okay, you guys will see a little uh, time lapse of it and I'll show you the end result when I'm finished.